From the frozen shores of the north, the free folk charge in with chariots pulled by dire wolves. Today on Infinite Realms, we review Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game, Frozen Shore Chariots. In the Song of Ice and Fire, to say the Free Folk is probably the most rewarding faction to play is a bit of an understatement. Yes, they are difficult and there's a bit of a learning curve in playing them, but they are a lot of fun and have some, some of the most interesting units in the game. And in this set, we get the Frozen Shore Chariots, which is their first foray into War Machines. Up until this point, War Machines have been pretty well regulated to the Night's Watch who are the Free Folk's arch and nemesis. What does that mean for the Free Folk? Well, it means they have a war machine. Okay, so maybe that wasn't such a big deal. In the box, we get two miniatures. Both are exactly the same. That's a little bit of a downer, but with some clever paint jobs, you could probably make them look a little different. The sculpt is just fantastic. Wonderful details throughout, and the dire wolves look just great, even though my wife says that she thinks they look like lions. From a stats perspective, they get a four to hit, five defense, and five morale. They're a good hit and run team, but I wouldn't try to keep them in a prolonged fight. Unless they have the order swift retreat. They also get a free move action so they can cover a whole lot of ground. And of course their deadly impact attack is pretty darn vicious. So vicious it gains vicious and sundering and plus one hit for each of the remaining ranks. Overall an excellent miniature really usable for other games if you want to bring in some kind of exotic chariot from a northern tribe. The only real downside is you get two of the exact same model. I can see why they did this, that's a good cost cutting maneuver, but it does kind of make your wallet stick. Overall I'd grant this four stars, only take a star off just because you get two of the same model. It's really not that big a deal, but I'd say still if we had two different models it would be a five star for sure. That review was a little quick, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more content coming up.